If you leave me now, you take away the biggest uh, part of me. That's what you write on this uh, banner. Why? Is it a message of uh, love or what? Yes, because I love the EU and my European identity is very important to me. Even though I'm a British citizen, I identify very much as European, so it's taking away a big part of my identity. If you, What will you miss of EU? Um, the ability to travel between 27 other different countries, which is very important to me. Um, it's always something I valued very much and taken advantage of, and if I didn't have that, it would have a big effect on my life. And, you know, it's, uh, it, it's just a play on the song, but I do, the, I value the EU very much for what it offers, and I, I just do it. Why did the uh, Britons uh, vote to leave? I think because a lot of people were upset about migrants coming from other countries and they, they were angry at the government and they thought it was to do with the EU. So they mis, misplaced their anger and their, what they were feeling. And I think uh, there was a lot of lies in the tabloids like The Sun about immigration and about the European Union that misled people and caused them to vote out. And also you have the older generation who remember Britain from the colonial times and from the British Empire and they, they, they see it as like a nostalgia to be away from the EU. But they don't think about the future of you know, younger people who mostly want to stay in. Hope you are wearing a British dress, definitely a British dress, but you are here to demonstrate uh, to support EU. Represent. Um, the stars represent the European Union, so I'm British but also a European, so... Why? Why do you feel so much European? Um, I just have so much family from different parts of... Um, <laughs> from diff all over the world, I've been all over the world and I really believe in times of struggle that unity is very important and I think we can learn more from each other rather than being divided and um, exclusive. You are very disappointed uh, by this uh, vote, what do you hope now that uh, MPs don't implement uh, the decision of people? Uh, I would rather there was a general election where we can then vote again for a, a new a new parliament because most of the MPs don't want this to go through either. It wasn't a fair vote the first time because of the misinformation people were given. So I think a new general election uh, would be the, 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 the best step next. And then a second referendum? Uh, no, I think referendums have been discredited really as an undemocratic means. Too many people have been lied to uh, for a second referendum to work. You are holding banners one word and we remain united. So what's the hope that uh, the decision of people, of the um, people who vote to leave cannot be implemented, that the MPs uh, think it over about uh, Article 50? Uh, I think it's more than just we're hoping that the decision is reversed. I think it's more about people understanding what they're voting for. And also it's more about ideology. It's more about are we better isolated or are we better together? And in my opinion, we're better together uh, in every sense of the word. So that's why I'm here today. Um, I can speak for myself. I'm sure my friends can speak also, yeah. <laughs> but the EU has often been uh, close to what is outside, is the fortress. Europe. Well you have to start somewhere and you have to start looking outside your own country. The EU is probably one of the biggest post-war projects regarding uh, cooperation between societies and between countries. Yeah it has got its problems but you don't walk away from it. Every, every organization, every, everything that you can boil down to some sort of organization, whether it be family or a political system or a country or a continent, has problems. That doesn't mean that you decide to fall apart the moment something goes wrong. No, we should, be to, we should work together to find a solution together, is my, is my view. And, and also, um, I think that what this has displayed, what this has shown, is that there are factions in our society that are very diverse very xenophobic, very racist, frankly, and there's another agenda there, and we should stand up against that very strongly, because if we don't, then, uh, you know, we've seen what's happened in the past. You don't have to look that far back in history to see how badly things can go wrong, and we don't want this to happen. Ray, you are an Australian, but uh, you are here campaigning for EU to ask uh, for 
new general elections and maybe hoping to for Brexit not to be implemented. Absolutely right, absolutely right. I've been, I'm an Australian, been living here for 17 years and I have always felt welcomed. I'm not an immigrant, I'm not somebody who has been a drain on this society, I'm somebody who's contributed to this society. I'm a positive influence just like all of the immigrants and, and all of the people who are supporting immigrants here and I think this whole campaign has been a disgrace. And there's my friend here who is English yes. we're, and we're campaigning and walking together. And we are not at all best pleased by this. So your hope now is uh, for new elections and then? Well, we need something to overturn this result. This result does not reflect what the whole of the UK wants. Who's representing the 48%? Who's representing the 48% in Parliament? That's what I want to know. And a lot of the people who voted leave are now regretting it because I think they thought their vote was a protest. It was like voting in our general elections where your vote often doesn't count depending on whether it's a safe seat or not. I don't think they realise that their vote, each vote counted. And I think a lot of the Leave campaigners are regretting it. I think there's a lot of Brexit remorse. Brexit yeah. Okay, but there's such a thing uh, can be said about uh, any election, of course. Absolutely, yes, but the referendum... Not every election should be remade uh, the following week. No, no, but, but every election is not, uh, first of all, a referendum is just an opinion. Every election is not forever. Yeah. In five years, you can reverse an election. This could be forever if we don't do something about it. And, and the other thing is that a referendum is not a passing of the law or the election of a government. It's an opinion. So now let's go to the polls, let's have a general election and elect a government that represents what the people really want to do. And half of us don't want this. Yeah, but the people who vote uh, are more important than people who represent them. Well, I think the people who vote should elect representatives who represent their views. Let's go to the polls, let's have MPs state their case, are they pro-Remain or pro-Leave, and let's vote for them and then let's have that government implement this change, not a government that didn't want to leave in the first place. In this uh, banner you talk about uh, the lies of uh, politicians, you also use uh, Pinocchio to represent these uh, lies, okay? Which are? Right. Which lies? It's, I think the whole campaign was lies. It started with lies and carried on with them. Mainly it banged the problems of this country from people from outside. It's just not true. Just not true. This country has benefited from people around the world. It's exploited them for centuries. It's about time it did something where it worked with people rather than exploit them. <laughs> Adam, you're right that the United Kingdom loves uh, Europe. Are you sure? Because 52% uh, of people vote to leave. I'm sure that a lot of the United Kingdom love Europe. Um, as well as trying to reverse the vote here today, the main reason for me being here is so that Europe can see that there is a lot of people in the United Kingdom who love the EU and love Europe as well. Now, how can these people organize and uh, uh, for which plan to ask a new referendum or what? I don't know, that's up to uh, the, the larger masses, but I'm just hoping that being a part of today means that something could happen to uh, help build the bridges between the UK and, uh, and EU again. And hopefully that uh, there is no such thing as a Brexit. Let's just hope.